make sure you hold it straight on in there. And you might want to count how many pumps it takes. Other ones will probably be similar, but not exact. Remember, wait till the grease starts to move out till you see it. All right, now this is the first time it was done. I don't know if it was not done at the factory, but I had to put 50 pumps in here, and I can just now start to see it. Look when I when I pump it again. All right, watch down there. Oh. Sorry, it's hard to do this and hold the camera at the same time. I don't know if you saw that, but I saw it moving right there, right on the inside. So we want to stop now. You see it? Yeah, you can see it in there. The grease is coming out. So this first time takes a while, huh? But that's it, don't overfill it. Then you just put the cap back on basically, and we're done. Make sure there's no dirt on the inside of this cap because this is gonna be circulating grease on the inside. You just basically line it up and it, it just goes kind of right in the place. You get one edge and then kind of push it around so it locks. Make sure it's locked because it'll, otherwise it'll go flying off when you're driving. That's it, and you repeat the same on multiple axles, one or two, however many you have. It's in there snug, and we are greased, and you should do this every couple of thousand miles. I maybe should have done it sooner. I'm glad I did it now. I had no idea. It takes 50 pumps. I'm gonna have to probably put another grease cartridge in here for the other ones. I've got three more axles to do. So if you've done this before, let me know in the comments. Definitely give me a shout out there in the comments. Let me know if this has helped for you. Be sure to subscribe to the channel too, and you'll see what I use this trailer for on this channel here what's inside if you watch the channel oh last thing don't forget about checking your tire pressure just check the sidewall it's on here somewhere tells you the maximum inflation that's what I would do let's see at 50 psi cold you see that that's what I would do at 50 psi the biggest problem with tires is under inflation and overloading, so make sure you check this on a regular basis as well as the tightness of the lug nuts. Don't forget that. And be sure you have a spare with you, at least one, maybe two. I got two and a jack and a lug nut wrench. All right, let's go over how to change a cartridge out of a grease gun. Cheap, easy tool. Uh, you know it's empty when you're going like this and almost nothing happens. See, there. See, we're, we're out. So, what's the easiest way to do it? First of all, open this and then twist this barrel off. you got to grab it with your hand and twist. All right, let's see. Should be able to turn it now. Keep this arm up the whole time. You don't have to have it attached to the, to the grease thing. I'm just trying to show you how I'm doing it with one person on camera here. And then this should come off and be in a good spot here for you. Now what you want to do is get your grease cartridge ready. Leave this in the open position like this. You don't want to close it down. Just leave it like that. Make sure no dirt gets in to the front. And then you're going to take this and you're going to preload the gun. You got to do that first. You want to do two things. First you want to get this grease cartridge part of the way out so you can grab it. And then after you do that or while you're doing that you want to pull this thing all the way out and twist it to lock so it's all in the down position so let's start that process right now we've got the other grease cartridge over there usually usually you'll find that when you pull this plunger out and then let it go back in it'll see it'll start to push the tube out so that's all you want to do is get it out like that so that you can grab it you don't have to grab it right now and then while you're while you've got it out and hopefully it'll stay out you can either pull it out put it in a garbage bag and then you have to pull this all the way out twist it and lock it in place so what I'll usually do is just grab this bag get it wrapped around the cartridge so nobody gets greasy and then kind of stick it right in there and then pull it into the bag whoa if you're not careful here you're gonna get grease all over you see, see how it's all the way in the bag I'm just gonna grab the bag now and just pull this cartridge out so that it's out of the grease gun and I can put the grease gun down being careful not to get any debris inside of it. 
Okay, see I got it out. Then you got this plunger, and like I said, you gotta pull it down. You gotta grab this with a glove on. Pull it all the way down and twist it so this plunger locks into place in the down position. Now you gotta be careful here or all of a sudden this thing will retract, especially if you move it. But you can see it squeezed a little bit of grease out the back in these holes. There's a little bit of a tab. I don't know if you can see that in there, metal tab. It, it comes out of this hole, and then you, if you twist it, the metal tab will rest on the outside of this and it won't let it go back in. But don't move it because all, if you move it suddenly, it'll snap back into place. And as you can see, the plunger is now way down in there. You can't even see. Can you see all the way down there? Maybe you can. There you go. It's way down in there, ready to load your grease cartridge into there. So here's the grease cartridge. Number two, EP grease. That's what you want. You just have to twist this off, which you want to do first. And then it goes in. It goes in that way. Twist this cap off and then push it in. And then we'll pull this thing on the bottom. And actually, you want to get started before it gets in there because it's hard to get this thing started once it gets settled into that grease gun. Okay, top comes right off. Throw that away. Grease is in there. Goes right inside the grease gun. Don't get the bag trapped in there, but it goes all the way down in there. Push it in and get that bag out of the way. Okay, get it all the way down now. Push it down. Oh, and get it started first. Oh, hopefully that, that won't go down. I'm putting a little bit of pressure on it. Let's get this thing started right here before it sinks all the way down. See this little pull tab? Get a little bit more leverage on it. And you want to get it started you can take it actually you can just take it all the way off now and just be careful this is going to have grease on it oops get it in your trash bag get your cap in there this stuff tie it up it gets thrown away see we didn't get any grease on us now this push basically we're going to push this down all the rest of the way down and when it's seated then we're going to put this on we've already got it extended open keep it open the whole time and twist it down and you should be ready to go just like that primed and ready Is that? Oh, there we go. See all the way down, and just get this thing threaded on there. That's all you have to do. No mess. Okay, it's on. Now we just want to twist it. I'm gonna try to do it with one hand. Keep this rod, this plunger, all the way out until you've got this thing twisted all the way down. Okay, get it twisted all the way down. Almost there. Okay, twist it all the way down and snug. And now you can release this plunger, keep this arm out, and then it'll be primed and ready to go if you twist this a little bit. Usually that's all you have to do. Sometimes it's locked in place, I gotta use two hands now. All right, I already moved it. I got it so I can just push it in here, I think now. And actually, yeah, it's not gonna go, but so far, it'll go a little ways, and then basically you're, you're preloading the tension in here, you're pushing all the grease. You're packing the grease in. So. Push it down as far as it'll go without twisting it too far because if you twist it again, internally it'll release and then it won't create pressure on the grease. You want to preload the gun by creating pressure, if this makes sense, right? Creating pressure inside there. You've got this open. Now you want to start pumping again. Go to your fitting. You've got to go to a fitting right away. Oh, let's get this. Sorry, there's a little bit of grass on there. Go to your fitting. And get it started it will take a few pumps it won't be normal until after a few pumps but then after a few pumps you're ready to go and you can twist this and push it in all the way because it'll be loaded with the pressure it needs already it's already going look see it's already preloaded I can feel that oh no it's still a little bit of air bubbles see, I, I gotta sometimes do these few air bubbles usually just maybe a few pumps there we go. Now it's coming up to speed. There we go. There we go. Oh, and more air bubbles. Sometimes it takes a few pumps. Oh, and I see the grease coming out. I'm, on, I'm done with this fitting, I think. In addition, good timing for everything. You can see this grease coming out. You see that? Yeah. We are good to go, I think, on this thing. All right, any questions, let me know in the comments. Let me know if this is successful for you and now you can just twist, like I was saying, and push it all the way in.
and then you're good for the remainder of this grease cartridge so you have to change it again that wasn't hard was it and there's the grease inside see I got another video on how to grease a trailer bearings and this is part of it but this is how to change your grease cartridge thanks so much for watching bye oh and also sometimes after the first use it might do this it's kind of like bubbling up a little bit extra pressure that's totally normal just wipe it off sometimes you lose a little bit of grease like that no big deal